In late January, we told you about an issue affecting 2016 and later MacBook Pros, dubbed Flexgate. Over time, the backlights on these machines would start displaying a stage light effect where bright spots would show up along the bottom of the display and would eventually fail. After doing some digging, we discovered what was causing the issue. The cables that connect the display to the body of the laptop are wearing out over time. And that wear is just normal use, you opening and closing your laptop, and in one or two years, they're starting to wear out. We found that there were two things that are contributing to this problem. The first one is Apple opted to use thin flex display cables for this MacBook Pro as opposed to the beefier wire cables that they used in previous ones. The other problem is they wrapped those display cables partially around the display controller board so that when the laptop opens, those display cables are getting pulled taut around a corner of that board, and that's what's causing them to wear over time. The biggest issue here is that even though it's just a problem with the cable, the only way to fix the problem is by replacing the entire display, a repair that costs around $700. Now there appears to be an update to the story. Even though Apple has never acknowledged the issue and has even gone so far as to remove the posts about it in their own technical support pages, it seems they may have addressed the problem. A Mac Rumors user, Olivia88, noticed their 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro seemed to have a longer cable than previous models. And sure enough, when compared, the 2018 model has a cable a full two millimeters longer than the 2016 model. While two millimeters doesn't sound like much, it is enough for the cable to wrap around the board without coming into contact with it while the machine is open past 90 degrees. While this might be good news for people who purchased a 2018 MacBook Pro, it does little to help people with older models that are affected by the same issue. And since Apple still isn't acknowledging it officially, your only options are to sign the online petition or go fill out Apple's online feedback form. We'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more.